All right, so I'm just about to go outside. I've got my camera and I've got my tripod because the hummingbird keeps landing on the perch that I made. So I'm hoping that it'll land on the perch while I'm out there and then I can get some shots of it. So I was originally gonna set up a tripod and everything, but I just came out here and it keeps landing on it. So debating whether I put up the tripod or not, whether I just wait and see. Got the camera all set up. The hummingbird is right now. One of the hummingbirds is on the feeder right now. They keep landing on that perch. Female on the feeder. So you see a perch. Hoping she might land and give me a good opportunity for some shots. Oh, wow. So I just sat right here behind these chairs under the gazebo with my camera, as you saw. And I did wind up putting my camera on a tripod. And I just waited, not long at all, just a few minutes. Came and landed there and sat there for so long. I was able to get some great photos. They're definitely the best photos I've ever been able to capture of Ruby Thread Hummingbird. And that was my goal. It's always nice when you have a photography goal and it actually happens. And this, I did not know if this was going to happen or not because this perch, this was a little bit of a far fetch kind of thing, but it worked and I'm so excited right now. Okay, so I'm really so excited about the hummingbird shots that I was able to get. It was getting dark, so I came in and as it was, I, was, I shot pretty much all those pictures at a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, which is really, like, especially for birds and especially a hummingbird, that's really slow. I was able to get away with it because I was using the camera on a tripod and the lens had image stabilization and the hummingbird wasn't moving. So I was able to get away with it, but as it was, it was getting pretty dark out. So anyway, I came in the house and now it's getting late and I'm gonna go set out my moth sheet and my black light and see what comes to it. I This is only the second time I've ever tried out this setup, but I honestly really enjoy it. It's something that's just kind of fun to do and it's nice to see what comes. And pretty much everything is new because I this is like, I've never done this before. We'll go head out right now, set everything up, give it a few minutes, and hopefully get some good shots of some moths and whatever other insects. So just got all the moth stuff set up and I'm ready for some moths. And it's really hot and humid out right now and I've heard that moths like hot, humid weather, and that's the best time to look for moths. Neighbors are shooting off some fireworks, but I'm out here with the sheet, and I'm ready for some moths. So for one, I don't know if you can hear that, but there is gray tree frogs calling all over the place. And second, we do have some stuff, just not moths and not really what I was looking for. But anyway, right here, I'm pretty sure, here, let me shed my light. So that right there is, I believe that's some sort of Asian beetle that doesn't even really have a common name. It only has a Latin name. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then over here, down here we got these darker beetles that are, here let's shine the light. We got these darker beetles here and these are June bugs. Then we've also got that up there, I don't know what that is. And this beetle right here, which looks pretty cool, and I might try to get some shots of it. But so far, if you look at the, uh, the sheet, pretty much all we have is beetles. 
some different types of beetles, but all beetles. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just beetles aren't really what I'm looking for. I'm more looking for like moths and some other stuff like that. Neighbor's got the firecrackers going off. Week before 4th of July. I don't actually see them, but that was pretty cool. I love fireworks. People are shooting off fireworks all around me right now. If I would see any of them, I would try to get some of them on film. But I'm actually not seeing. I can hear them. There they go. Nice one right there of one of the beetles. Heading back in the house quickly to get another counter battery and some pants and a long shirt because there's not really any mosquitoes biting me that I know of, but I'm seeing some on the moth sheet. So I just want to go in the house and get some of that stuff so that I don't get bit. Heading back out. Got all the long stuff on now. I'm not gonna lie, it's hot and it's humid out, and I'm not enjoying wearing all this long stuff, but if I'm not getting bug bites, it's worth it. Just photograph this cool little moth looking thing, but it was cool. It was also hard to photograph because of the way it was, it was like right on a fold of the sheet, so it was hard to photograph them, but still kind of cool. He might still be on there. Just got our first big moth. I mean, it's not huge. There's my hand for comparison. But first, like, not something that's, like, super small moth. I'm not sure the species, but it looks pretty cool. I'm really glad that we got a moth, because I was just about to say this is becoming more of a beetle sheet than a moth sheet. But we just got a moth. So now it is a moth sheet again. back out for another check. We're just in for a little bit, take a little break, waiting for some more moths. So while I was in the house, I was looking online and trying to figure out what that moth was. And it turned out to be a white dotted prominent. So that's what that one moth was, that, uh, I, that bigger one that I had found. So that's pretty cool. So the white dotted prominent is still there. You just moved to the ground. And right here, we got another new species. Ooh, we got another one coming in. It's in my shoe. One thing that I'm, I've noticed in my, only my two times of doing this, but the thing that I've noticed is that it seems like the moths come out later than the beetles and the other stuff. Like right now, it's like 10.30 and they're starting to get some good moss. When I was out here earlier at like nine and eight and everything, all that was on here was like beetles and, and random stuff. So that cool moth that was flying around all over the place and wouldn't make up his mind where to land, I wasn't seeing him anymore, so I was looking for him all over the sheet, and all of a sudden I heard something flying around in my hair, and it was the moth. So I got him out of my hair, and now I have him right here, and he's really cool. I don't know if you can really see. We're doing good right now. There's currently three moths, either on the sheet or right around the sheet. So there's the white, what was it? White dotted, white spotted? Oh, I forgot what it was called. It, uh, whatever, the white prominent, white spotted prominent or white dotted prominent, but there's that. And then there's two other moths that I've never seen before that I don't know what they are yet. But that one, let me just show you those colors. It's got like lemon lime colors on the top. And here's that other moth, right there. And then right over there, crawling around on the ground, 
is the white spotted, white dotted prominent. This right here might just be the coolest find of the night. I don't know what it is, but this thing is so cool. Just saw another new moth. Only got some brief views of it and then it took off. I did get a picture though, so that's good that, so that I can identify it. But I am still just freaking out over this moth right here. This is the coolest moth that I've seen so far. This is shaping up to be a pretty good moth night. And I was had a feeling that it was probably gonna be a good moth night for a few reasons. One, the conditions seem pretty good. And the other reason I thought it was gonna be a good moth night is I had the time to really be out here late with it, this. Right now it's like 11 o'clock, and I, I don't know, I was out there pretty late last time, but not as late as this. Oh, there's my headlight. So, since my vlogging camera battery died, and I don't have time to charge it right now, I'm just vlogging off of my phone, and I'm going up for one last check for the night, and then I'm gonna bring everything in. It's getting pretty late. I was looking up online, and it turned out that moth that I just found, that black and white really cool one, was a giant leopard moth. And it's actually still here. Stink bug. Beetles. Just took some more shots of the giant leopard moth. If I had known about them, that definitely would have been one that I really wanted to find. This is only my second time ever doing this. And the fact that I just found a, a cool moth like that is really exciting for me. I still really want to find a rosy maple. That's still one of my main targets. Just turned off my black light and took down my moth sheet. And we're heading in. Just wrapped everything up. Just finished. No other new moth species came in, but really glad about the ones that I found and excited to work on identifying them tomorrow. So thanks for watching.